real bull market is finally here and in today's video I'm going to be sharing three very simple yet crucial tips that you must keep in mind over the coming months. This video is going to be short and sweet but it is going to be so important. So bookmark this video, write down the tips as we talk through them, pin them to a wall, do whatever works for you because this is something you are going to need to keep in mind. But first of all, who am I to be sharing these tips? Now it does go without saying that this video is not financial advice, but I have been around in the crypto space since 2018 and I've seen it all before. I am using my past experiences to try and help you not make the same mistakes that I did. And to be honest, this video actually serves as a reminder to myself as we enter a new phase of this market. So starting out with tip number one, and this is that dips are very normal even during a bull market. So some people are going to naturally freak out when the market starts to dip, and this is completely normal due to the bear market PTSD that you may see many people talk about. However, you will see other people and most likely more experienced people talking about BTFD by the dip and this is for good reason. During the 2021 bull market we seen a number of dips on Bitcoin ranging between 20 and 35 percent downfalls and although these pullbacks are going to make people feel very nervous these are shakeouts designed for you to sell your coins early. However it does go without saying that one of these pullbacks or dips are going to be the start of a new bear market and it's only going to be obvious in hindsight which leads us nicely into tip number two many of you will have heard in the past of dollar cost averaging or dca in and this is usually when entering positions however tip number two is ensuring that you are dollar cost averaging out of positions on the way up and at this point it's worth reminding you guys that making money is not about selling the top much like it isn't about buying the bottom you can easily make good money somewhere in the middle. So it may be that you decide to dollar cost sell at different price points. Maybe coins hit certain milestones and that is when you decide to sell a certain percentage. Or maybe it's time based. Maybe you are looking to sell on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis, selling a percentage of your portfolio. It's really important to understand here that there is no one size fits all. It is completely what works for you and what you are most comfortable with. Just make sure that you are not that guy who has zero profits in the bank when the bull run ends. Moving on to tip number three, and this is if you have life changing money on the table, you take it. Now this may seem a little bit conflicting to the last tip, because we've just talked about averaging out of positions and sticking to a plan. But in this case, we have to keep in mind that crypto is a crazy place and things can change overnight. So if you wake up one day and that portfolio is way higher, further than any expectations that you had, and there is genuine money on the table there that can really change your life, do not leave it on the table. Make sure that you take a decent amount. And again, there is no one size fits all here. Nobody can tell you what life changing money is to you. That is a decision that you have to make. As an example, in 2021, I actually sold most of my crypto in that April when Ethereum was at around $1,800 to $2,000. So obviously after that, I seen Ethereum continue to rip even higher, but I can tell you from experience, I had absolutely no regrets. At that point, I had to do what felt right. Nobody could tell me what life-changing money was to me. I made that decision and I ensured that I secured them profits. But what I also did was leave around 20% in crypto, so I wasn't completely sidelined. And although it could have been much better, I still felt the benefit on the way up even further. And I'm going to share one last tip. I mean, I guess you could call it a bonus tip, but I see it more as a conclusion of what we've just discussed. And it is simply that if you have a plan, stick to it. Do not start moving the goalposts. Don't let the greed take over halfway during this bull run. Believe me, I've seen it happen many times before. And for most people, 
it doesn't end well. So that pretty much wraps up today's short video. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. Comment and let me know if it was helpful and I'll drop more content like this in the future. But in the meantime, don't forget to trade safe, invest safe, and I'll catch you in the next one.